Okay, with that change in the new business, uh, I'll have the commission review the rest of the new business and when they feel comfortable, I entertain a motion to approve the uh, motions under new business. I move. Second. Is that an all yes? Yes. yes. Uh, I, President Vance, could I yes. ask about the, the Hearts Board of Directors? Yes. Which are named in that motion right. that you guys just approved. Have they designated a president, secretary, not anything that, like that? Not that I'm aware of, or other than I do know that they mentioned to me that uh, Hannah Shelton would probably be their secretary to take care of the book work for them. Okay. Uh, but I don't know that there's been any uh, president or things like that done. Now, and there's also more people than just these involved. There's quite a few people involved, and they're going to have subcommittees and things like that, work committees and things of that nature. Okay. Thank you. Now we're to the Commission concerns. Commission concerns. Um, I don't think that I have anything really to add. Uh, I, I met with Mr. White and talked with him concerning this problem uh, earlier. I mean, this uh, positive thing earlier, earlier in the week. Um, we are currently uh, uh, reviewing our, as as before, our payroll situation, and we look to go uh, with. Uh, the system, uh, the full system, July in the first of July, the new fiscal year. And this will allow us to, on the check stubs, we'll have sick leave, things of that nature, documented on them with every check stub, so we know where we're at, and each employee knows where they're at with their with their pay. Um, other than that, Mr. Matthew, I went to the LED, uh, Lincoln County uh, Economic. Meeting, and um, one of the things that I took away from that, is, I guess I was talking to uh, John Grace, yeah. and he was talking about that maybe the, the commission had spoken, they had to say communication about maybe uh, getting together a zoning board um, for business. As they come into the area, actually having some sort of um, <laughs> policies. This, um, the, the, this is a Walmart discussion I had with Mr. John Grass, but he did write that to me about designing and it's and, an yeah. and, and ordinances that that um, the zoning board can <coughs> possibly do that whenever as business or city development area is actually having something set in place for these people. I sit down and they they would be a policy. Yeah, and, and I think that that's uh, that's something that the zoning board would be able to take care of. <laughs> um, yeah, that is a, I think that is a good project. But um, I was going to mention that on the commission meeting. Uh, one thing that I would like is, uh, I, and I kind of forgot this, I don't mean to jump in on you, Mr. Senior on EDA, is I would like a, um, a, a list of all the members of uh, the boards and uh, especially with reference to whether we actually constitute our boards right. Our EDA board is supposed to have representatives from labor and different things, and I want to make sure we're getting all those representatives uh, in these boards, so that we have we have those uh, our boards are are, 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 are correctly composed. Uh, so uh, if we could, uh, could you ask Mr. Stutler to get that information for us? And also, uh, when you talk to Mr. Stutler, tell him that. I'd really appreciate him get a hold of Mr. White and okay. talk to him and get on board with him on this thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I really think the EDA, the EDA should be the the force behind the development that this these people are doing. Uh, and I think Gary and KK. I mean, I think it's important that they are really aware of what's going on and what's needed and things of that nature. So that uh, but uh, if you could, and, and, and all of our boards, make sure our boards are properly constituted. I'd, I'd like to just make sure uh, that we confirm that. Do you, want me to, do you want me to send the, let me send an email to Tyler uh, at the uh, 
and um, get the, uh, either, the either that or Mary. Mary did it. Is that? Yeah. And we could also or Sean can tell. And Taylor's mine. We can do that, and I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll pay them for it. Okay. That's why, I, and that was looking at these community centers and all those type things. Because we, we really want to make sure that those people, because we have people on the Hearts Community Center that weren't involved before. We have some that were involved before, but there's a whole bunch of people willing to work. And I think if they know that we're all right and we're all set up to represent the different area, different uh, groups of peoples in the area, then then I think we'll have much more participation. And, uh, and it'll it, fight the apathy that often occurs when you only got two or three people trying to do everything, you know. So it would really help if we could, uh, if we had some idea, make sure that we're properly constituted. Yeah, I, I would also. Um, we actually, I wanted to address this June, the end of the end of June. That we need to make sure that we take care of that. Um, one other thing is, I wanted to appreciate the uh, the commission table at that item. I mean, I know that you all have. I mean, there's two votes. You all could have voted that through. Um, I, I, I appreciate you all having enough respect for me that, that we can actually um, talk to some of the people in the area and and actually be, you know, try to be good neighbors. And I think that's, whenever you start looking at development, it's that, that actually having people to talk to each other. I think that's a good thing. Instead of just coming in and constituting something and saying, listen, this is how it's going to be. And I don't know whether... As a county commission, I don't know whether that is exactly what you should do. And I think that um, I'm willing to go down and, and talk to these people and uh, do whatever it is that we can to, to try to help things along. And uh, and I just wanted to uh, tell you all that I appreciate that. I appreciate you on that matter. I've been working very hard on the cell phone service. And I, want, I want you all to know that. Um, it, it seems like that there's not a day that's gone by where I'm talking to somebody about this. Um, and and I think that even though you know I was I was very discouraged when, whenever I I talked to a few people and then whenever you really start talking to people you start talking to um, the people that are in charge um, it is it is it's encouraging and uh, whenever you start talking to people in the community whenever we actually address them this you know the state park that. Uh, that uh, Senator Stallings has is, is, um, is been working on. I mean, that's something that's going to, it's going to help Lincoln like County. And we have to start somewhere. Um, I just want to do the, um, the, the contributions as far as the policy, the, the things that I kind of were working on with the contributions. Um, you know, I want I want everyone to understand that that's a fluid document. I didn't. Whenever I was drafting that, I didn't intend for the for it to be something that would be set in stone. And and I know that it's very easy to sit back and criticize. Um, and and I you know I wanted to let everybody know that you know trying to send this information out. I've, I've talked to a lot of people and been talking to a lot of people. And there's no way as a county commissioner that you could talk to everyone. And, uh, and I think that you all are aware of that. But, um, and I think it's a great idea what we did was posting that for, for public comment. And please feel free to comment and try to, and try to help out. Um, um, and, I, and that's what I want everyone to do is, is to help um, and to put, put, your, put your information in, you know, put your thoughts in to try to help things out, to try to, to, try to make policy better. Um, if you think that there is something that you need to do, maybe there's something that we're overlooking. Um, but I really feel that we need, you know, that we have to have something in place um, where it kind of gives us some, you know, it gives us a little constraint. Because um, I know that that would free up, that frees up, that frees us up when we can do other things, and we can do other bigger, you know, we can do bigger projects. And I think something that probably impacted me. But um, I don't just um, working with Rick at this Camp Lakeview. Um, we have uh, the Bristol Church of Christ is, is going to uh, make the food for Camp Lakeview for all the children that come to Camp Lakeview. 
we have commitment from other from other congregations as well if they want to help out. Something I would like to see if we could possibly do it is actually run a um, a shuttle through Hearts. Um, <coughs> there is some way that we can do that with the transit, um, so that we could actually get kids from down from down that way to actually have and if we can do that, and I know that I think that that has been a constraint in the past. Not you know, uh, things are things change every day. Things are fluid. So maybe we could check on that, or we could get a we could get a shuttle down in in through Marks Creek and, and let people, the kids know, and we want to have this <coughs> have this uh, event at the lake. But um, that's kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> it's a little tired. Okay. I like uh, the idea of what uh, Commissioner Matthews spoke about. One, he's going to get much accomplished. Added two, three, four, five workers, and you get a whole lot accomplished. So I think it, uh, it's important that. <coughs> that we tell ourselves that it's important that we practice that, that, that as a group you know, charged up with a mission, we can accomplish a lot. One doesn't get much done here. Occasionally you look out, but not too long. A um, couple things. We did have a meeting of the uh, Farmland Protection Board, and uh, we're very close uh, of getting a, a farm designated, and I think this is an important as one piece of Lincoln County that uh, says there's properties that's good for industrial, and there's properties good for fishing lakes, and there's properties good for farming, and whatever. The Farmland Protection Board at this commission assisted in creating a few years back, basically saying there's certain properties that should be preserved if the landowner wants them to be preserved as forever farmland. And uh, we're ready to to move in that direction with the McComas Farm West Hamlet. Other than that, uh, when we get a little further along, we'll have more information for the commission. Uh, since it is tax money uh, that's set aside, uh, uh, it's important that this commission know that uh, we're moving in that direction. The money is there, it's uh, properly accounted for, and uh, uh, we have a, uh, a good treasure to look after it. Mr. McDowell serves that capacity for the department board and does a good job. Uh, uh, the other thing is we uh, uh, did have our uh, meeting at, uh, at Tri River and we did discuss about uh, doing the youth camp or the summer camp thing that Rick brought about and one of the things that we talked about was maybe making sure that, that is free but what we talked about was coming up, and she'll probably call you and talk about how can we do this, but actually giving tickets out on a daily basis, some ways, give them out on a weekly basis, something so that on that Wednesday, they'd have something to give to the driver. Uh, that way, it, we thought too, it would remind them that it's coming up next week, whatever, and it gives us a better head count maybe and things like that, but, but it wouldn't be free, but, uh, but we can count that as a, you know, customer. So, uh, but now the thing we did talk about, can we go any further than what Mr. Matthews mentioned there? And, and at the discussion we had Wednesday, uh, no, it'd be difficult to do that, but I'll, I did make a note to talk to her about that again. We could expand that out any whatever. So you may want to be a thing about, because I'll probably say, call Rick. But, uh, uh, but we did want to do more, but I think what she said was last year, just did uh, Mudder Road and Hamlin, baby. And uh, she said, uh, right now she had talked, I guess, to the driver, trying to figure out time to do it and all that. And so uh, they, that's where we're, we're at on it. But I did make note to talk with her again about that. And is this what we were supposed to have a hearing? We were supposed today? to have a hearing set for today. Okay. Just so I can enter this in the record, we were supposed to have a hearing for today concerning the state of Carlos, Carlos Wayne Hodge. But uh, the uh, turn, one of the attorneys, Mr. Glass, in, in coordination with Mr. Stevens, asked for a conti continuance of that. We didn't have it on the agenda, did we? So, but I just wanted to make sure we had that on record. 
the other thing is I had the report from the Corporal Community Center. Did you need to talk with us about this? Or? We just missed everybody at the gospel singing. We missed some mighty good singing we had. Mm -hmm. saw a lot of new good faces at the center. Um, hot dog sale went well for the crime watch. Um, we just keep on keeping on down there. Good deal, good deal. And I do have one question. Yes. As the crime watch always helps out with the fishing tournament. Um, I'm assuming the commission wants our help again yes, this year. Yes. It, would it be okay if we started posting on our Facebook to start help advertising it for the kids? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Again, not a lot of people take the journal down in our area, so one of our ways of getting information out. So, so you keep saying. It's you actually, have to do more down there. Well, it's, a, it's actually on the county website, too. All right. Anything else? Uh, under the ones about the needs of the building, on the entire building, <coughs> yeah, that would be good. The things you brought up about the repairs needed done, yes. just to get repaired, and I was going to, I was actually going to, I forgot about that when we lost one of the but I think that we need to develop a maintenance agreement. Um, we need to develop a maintenance agreement for our community centers and communities, for various things that we need to do, as far as whatever, whatever it may be, um, whether it be repairing the sink, or maybe the air conditioning, you know, ceilings falling in. But I think what we need to do is, is actually develop, have a maintenance agreement uh, with a contractor, maybe take some bids for that. We also need to, we need to move on a CPA, an accountant. We need to do that as soon as possible. This is what I've instructed uh, in regard to closing out this year's works and starting the next uh, I've instructed Mary to get in touch with the other counties that, not just the, the other counties that have the same system that we have, mm -hmm. find out who helps them with theirs, and then contact them and ask them if they can give us an idea of what would cost to have them help us with ours. So I said, all right. And I, seeing you're already through with this other thing, you can go ahead and start working on the thing you just brought up. So. I'll figure that's more <laughs> right. Anything else for the commission? You did that, Doc, Yes, so yeah. 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 that's, that's why we're trying to do it. Okay. okay. Anyone else? No. Not I ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that. We're second. We stand adjourned till June the 6th.